In this video, you will learn about creating new virtual machine from existing virtual machine. I am going to use system preparation tool that is sysprep and generalize my virtual machine. This virtual machine have couple of software installed including Visual Studio IIS and I also configured network security group on Azure portal and inbound rule on virtual machine firewall to allow website hosting. So let me show you everything which I have. Now you can see I have Visual Studio on virtual machine and I'm going to publish a project locally on this virtual machine in C drive demo website. I'll click on publish. And publish successful. Now I am going to browse on port 8080 localhost and you can see the site. already binded this site which I just browsed and you see it was published under www root demo website folder and you note down this IP address and now you see this IP address I'm using to access this website now I am opening the firewall just to show you and see in inbound rule I configured 8080208088 and here on portal network security group I added same configuration here too and you can see it here now same port I am using here to access the website now let me open this OS disk and you see here I am using HDD standard so let me close everything and I'm going to run sysprep tool for this I need to open command line and I'll change my directory to sysprep directory which is inside system 32 and then I'll Type sysprep.exe here and then I'll check generalize and here in shutdown options I'll select shutdown and I'll hit OK. It will take some time and then I'll be automatically disconnected from this virtual machine and you see it here now I'll navigate to virtual machine and I'll click on capture and here I'll create a new resource group to store my virtual machine image I can change this name too and then I'll click on create again this will take some time and this is successful now now let's go ahead and check yeah all successful messages here and I'll refresh resource group here and you see a new resource group developer VM image and here a image now let me navigate to my virtual machine again and I'll delete this virtual machine because this is generalized now and I won't be able to access this so I can safely delete it and delete is successful now I can delete this OS disk also
so this was the disk we were using i'll delete it and this is successful too and now the last thing network interface this is private ip and we don't need this so let's delete it too and everything now we have we can reuse it in new virtual machine so i'll click to close it and in developer vm image i'll select the image and here you see a option create vm i'll click on this and then i'll enter my virtual machine name and i'll select this type to ssd and username and then password i'll select here my existing resource group hdd vm demo resource group and i'll click on okay now i need to select the virtual machine size and i'll select here d2s v3 standard the first one and then here on setting i'll select my existing resources so here is virtual network click on it and you can see it sdd vm demo vnet and subnet and public ip address here i'll reuse it again i don't want to create new i'll reuse it and network security group i'm again using it and auto shutdown is set to off and for diagnostic storage i'll select my existing storage account and then i'll click on okay and now the final summary of my all selection and here i'll click on okay now it will take some time to create new virtual machine with the image we have so this virtual machine will be created on ssd disk earlier we had on hdd so deployment is successful now i'll close it i'll close it and you can see my new virtual machine here i'll click it and i'll hit on connect and i'll enter my username and password and now i'll be on my virtual machine i'm opening this virtual machine for the first time and now i am on my desktop so let's check out the existing software which we have so i'll click on start and you see i have all the software including visual studio 2017 let me click on it you also see chrome icon on desktop and let's open server manager and in tools you can see i have iis already configured and let's expand ssd vm1 server here and expand sites and you see demo website here too and if i explore it you see all the files we which we had earlier now let me open the firewall I'm going to show you my firewall configuration which we had in earlier machine and in inbound rule you can see the port 8080 to 8088 
now let me close it close this two and now on portal if I open my public IP you see that my public IP got changed if I click on configuration you see I have dynamic if I had a static earlier this won't changed so now to open this website or services I need to use my new IP address thank you so much for watching